Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Robert Mueller, Andrew McCabe, and Rod Rosenstein now tied to massive cover-up and bribery allegations. Justice Department officials in the District of Maryland announced that Mark Lambert of Mount Airy, Maryland, had been indicted on 11 counts related to bribery, kickbacks, and money laundering. The indictment show that Lambert and May others from Transport Logistics International (TLI) were involved in several counts of bribery, money laundering, and kickbacks with Russian nuclear official Vadim Mikarin. This was all orchestrated to win business advantages with Tenex, a Kremlin state-owned energy company which owns Uranium One. TLI would have been the company that ostensibly moved all of the uranium from the U-1 deal, but an FBI undercover mole inside the Russian nuclear industry gathered extensive evidence of corruption and blew the scheme wide open. What does all of that have to do with Robert Mueller? Zero Hedge points out, Robert Mueller's FBI had been investigating the scheme since at least 2008, with retiring Deputy FBI Director Andrew McCabe assigned to the ongoing investigation which was hidden from the Committee on Foreign Investments in the United States CFIUS. Had they known, the committee never would have approved the Uranium One deal with Tenex's parent company, Rosatom. Four individuals ended up being prosecuted and handed plea agreements after the Uranium One deal was approved. Who were the prosecuting DOJ attorneys? Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein and Robert Mueller's top investigator in the Trump-Russia probe, Andrew Weissman, the same guy who applauded and praised former Acting Attorney General Sally Yates for defying Trump. Then it gets even more odd. According to this report from The Hill, when the time came to charge former Russian uranium industry executive Vadim McCarran, the Justice Department failed to call on the deal's secret informant, William D. Campbell. Officials told The Hill that prosecutors working for Rosenstein first interviewed Campbell, the informant, after they had already filed a sealed criminal complaint against Mikarin in July 2014. While he was Maryland's chief federal prosecutor, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein's office failed to interview the undercover informant in the FBI's Russian nuclear bribery case before it filed criminal charges in the case in 2014, officials told The Hill, the report says. Campbell's lawyer, Victoria Tonsing, confirmed the justice official's account. The first time Mr. Campbell was interviewed by the U.S. Attorney's office was after the criminal complaint was filed, and he was never brought before the grand jury before the indictment, she told The Hill. Harvard Law Professor Alan Dershowitz finds this to be quite troubling, telling The Hill, I've never heard of such a case unless the victim is dead. I've never heard of prosecutors making a major case and not talking to the victim before you made it, especially when he was available to them through the FBI. It is negligence, and I'm sure there will be internal issues with the Justice Department and U.S. Attorney for making such an obvious mistake, Dershowitz continued. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.